Uh, good morning, uh, everybody. Just like say, uh, we have discussed about uh, uh, basics of intellectual properties, uh, different forms of intellectual property, uh, and uh, theories uh, behind intellectual properties. Uh, so now, uh, I think you will able to identify uh, the different forms of IP uh, that has embedded incorporated uh, in any tangible uh, object, uh, just like say uh, different forms includes uh, patent, uh, copyright, industrial design, trademark, uh, geographical indication, semiconductor IC layout design, plan variety, protection, trade secret. Okay. So, now uh, let us say as you are uh, technologist come engineers, so let us say uh, we will try to uh, integrate uh, theory along with the form, different forms. Okay. Let us say, let us say this is economical theory, economical theory and uh, let us say uh, philosophical parts also we will try to uh, philosophical, philosophical parts also we may linked, uh, let us say philosophical part. Okay. So, uh, one by one, we try to interlink uh, uh, between uh, the uh, different forms of IP uh, along with uh, its uh, theoretical uh, justification. Okay. So, now let us come to uh, patent. You know the patent uh, protect uh, invention or uh, invention means uh, product or process and somehow I already told you uh, patent is one form of IP uh, that is the that one forms of IP and only forms of IP that protect functionality, uh, functionality. Functionality means let us say uh, if you uh, design or created a process uh, for uh, synthesis of something, the process of synthesis also will be come under the purview of patent okay. and the synthesized product also will come under the purview of patent. So, now uh, when I was discussing about uh, economical justification, I was mentioning about that uh, say something that called intellectual property, we may consider a mere information. Okay. So, just like say patent, uh, just like say considering in the patents, so we, we are telling that uh, process or uh, let us say uh, the product, product. Okay. So, uh, patents will uh, provide the information uh, by, by means of which uh, we the uh, patentee or inventors we have been using the process to synthesize the uh, product. Okay. So, now the, so, it, so, I can consider that let us say by now people will use that uh, information uh, to ultimately uh, produce that product whatever the uh, say inventor has uh, uh, created uh, that whatever composition he told, whatever uh, property has told or whatever process parameter he has told, I will treat all are per se information. Are you agree on that information? Information about uh, composition of the product, information about the uh, process parameter, process parameters like uh, temperatures, all those things, composition, huh? information about the uh, properties of the product. Okay. So, uh, so, all those information he is generating, who is generating? The inventor is generating. Okay. Uh, so, that information have the characteristics of public good. Okay. What do you mean by public good? I already mentioned, till I am repeating once again and again because public good means which is non rival non excludable information. So, how you will say uh, information will be excluded from others. Okay. So, information how you can exclude information just like say consider how will you exclude air, how will you exclude oxygen. Okay. So, uh, for that reason the information has having the characteristic of public goods. So, what is required? by means of some legal instrument, uh, you should give some protection on those information. 
okay, in the information. So, sometime I referred already that public good, impure public good, pure public good. Okay. So, those are the economical term, sometime we call credence good, experience good. So, the, those are the economical term for uh, different uh, attributes, hmm, different attributes. Okay. So, now uh, let us say how can I apply uh, various theories uh, with reference to the patent and information embedded in patent, just like information about composition, process parameter, properties. Okay. So, now uh, economical, we will try to consider the economical part first. Okay. So, uh, we are telling that incentive theory. Okay. So, now I told that it has characteristics of public good. So, now what economics can design and what the uh, philosopher can design to ultimately uh, uh, to use information in the context of win win situation. How I am telling the win win situation, how that information will be used properly for the social economical development and how that information will be beneficial for the creator. Okay, you are getting that is the information inventor or the person uh, who is say uh, creating or inventing those information, he is putting his maybe uh, intellectual inventive ingenuity, intellectual components and also um, maybe a monetary components just like whatever I call R and D cost or sunk cost. Okay. So, he has to recap his sunk cost. Okay. He has to recap its sunk cost. Uh, sunk cost means which is difficult to recap. I already referred everything I have referred. Now, I want to link everything with reference to the uh, theory. So, how the sunk cost means let us say sunk cost. Now, I call sunk cost one components, then another components let us say different components we call labor, intellectual labor of the inventors. Then let us say intellectual uh, contribution, labor, intellectual contribution of the inventor, agree? Contribution, contribution of the inventors. Okay. So, now all those three components uh, uh, we have to, uh, we can, can be uh, say this is the situation for the inventor side or say if I consider the input, uh, input side, what are the input he the inventor is making and that uh, output will be a benefit for the uh, society. Okay. His output means the product or composition or process whatever is synthes synthes uh, he is creating that will be benefit for the society. So, now we have to uh, decide by economics has to decide uh, that what theory will be uh, will justify that thing. Okay. You are understanding that sunk cost, labor, intellectual contribution of the inventors uh, is the input provided by the inventors and based, based on that output is coming in the form of composition, process parameter, uh, properties all are per se having characteristic of information good. So, so sometime you know that there is a model called Pigouvian taxation model. So, say they are telling that okay, you should put up some charge. So, just like a, a beautiful story is, is there, let us say a, a garden, open garden, a closed garden. So, okay. so an, uh, open garden, closed garden, garden with ticket, just like if you think about that uh, botanical garden earlier, it was open to the public. So, anybody without paying fees also can enjoy the beauty of the garden. And later on, they thought about, let us say, for the protection of the garden and for the uh, better utilization, uh, they thought that okay, let us put up some charge that will be say is uh, that will be useful for the maintenance of the garden and uh, for security aspect of the garden and somehow I can restrict the people uh, say unwanted people to access the uh, beauty uh, access the garden. Okay. So, they put up a charge. So, similar way let us say a beautiful garden, now garden is open anybody can go and enjoy the beauty of the garden, but now uh, uh, what will be the incentive for the gardener who is just creating that garden. Okay. So, uh, he now thought about uh, put up a, a some charge for 
uh, for the people for enjoying the beauty of the garden. That is the call uh, some tax fees or other kinds of structure uh, structures. So, some way the Pigouvian taxation model people told about Pigouvian taxation model. So, like this way now apply the uh, to make a proper input output balance output is beneficial for the society output is beneficial for the inventor or inventor is giving input in the form of sunk cost labor intellectual contribution. So, uh, what can be the uh, root economist also so thinking. So, now uh, if I apply incentive theory we can easily apply incentive theory why because incentive means uh, he has to given some incentive for his to rick up his sunk cost for his labor for his intellectual contribution then only he will be further interested to invent or create. Okay. Now, based on that he will generate more output that output will be beneficial for the society that will lead to the economical development of the country okay. that will generate further say information. Okay. So, now you are justifying the uh, incentive theory for patent. Okay. Patent is uh, say we can th uh, uh, consider incentive theory for the patents, but we should have to give some sorts of incentive to the patent. So, now the what type of incentive they will be given that is the uh, discretion of the state and you know that the incentive has ultimately came up by virtue of exclusive right based on the jurisprudence uh, that lead to the jurisprudential uh, development suggested incentive has come up by means of exclusive right. So, incentive has come up by means of exclusive right. So, now what will be the proper incentive exclusive right uh, by exclusive right where you he is disclosing that information, where he will able to use this information incentive will be provided in that territory. So, considering that we are telling that oh we have to give a territorial right and now incentive whether incentive on perpetual basis or incentive for a specific duration of time. Okay. What will be the optimum duration for providing exclusive right? So, they are required further studies, but ultimately they thought about initially it was decided the incentive means exclusive right uh, means patent uh, that in patent he can exclude others uh, for use of his uh, invention what have been we are telling that information for at least uh, 14 years later on have been changed uh, for different uh, nature of the different informations like, like a product process. Okay. So, now uh, they thought about that information uh, should be uh, present day it has been treated as a 20 years. They thought about a 20 years time is the appropriate time uh, for the inventors to uh, say uh, uh, get some return on investment ROI in uh, that will give some return on investment. So, this has been decided 20 year exclusive right will to be provided to the uh, patentee or to the patentee for what? Now, so you are clear about that. That uh, how can I apply uh, incentive theory to patent? Okay, incentive theory to patents. Okay, uh, now so incentive theory uh, of of patents you are here, you can you easily apply to the patents. Okay, why incentive for generation of invention? Why incentive to further generation of information? Uh, uh, how 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 much uh, uh, incentive? Incentive in the form of exclusive right for 20 years where incentive incentive in that territory uh, where he, he has been using his information got the thing. So, incentive theory you can justify with reference to patent, but how long incentive uh, although that is uh, very difficult to mathematically uh, prove that whether 20 years appropriate or not they thought about uh, a probabilistic taking the probabilistic or probabilistic uh, 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 approach they thought 20 years will be the uh, optimum uh, period for a product. Uh, to uh, get uh, commercialized and product life cycle if you know that a product life cycle always uh, asymptotic kinds of thing normal situation, but may differ uh, life cycle of a product life cycle of a particular uh, product okay, uh, product life cycle. Uh, so, uh, like this way. So, like this way that they thought about okay, that will be the optimum uh, range will be may be reached may be at 20 years period that time he will get sufficient uh, RO. A return on investment. Okay. So, uh, that
that way that uh, you are now able to justify incentive theory or uh, incentive theory for uh, patent. Now, let us say incentive theory similarly you can apply for copyright, copyright now you got the thing copyright is coming up in the form of expression, expression in the domain of uh, literary, artistic, uh, musical work. So, now they are also you understand required in say real intellectual contribution uh, of the authors uh, who is creating those uh, beautiful uh, a poem, who is creating beautiful music, who is creating beautiful architectural work who is creating a good painting, you know that they are also required uh, that uh, some sorts of uh, contribution by virtue of say intellectual uh, say labor, labor by means of uh, you can consider intellectual contribution, labor intellectual contribution is also involved there. So, uh, definitely uh, just like say you know that there is a theory uh, just like, like say uh, with respect of uh, copyright uh, statutory protection. Uh, or copyright uh, protection, uh, initially uh, people was thinking about oh, why is there will be protection for uh, creation in the literary, artistic or uh, musical domain, uh, but they thought about uh, that uh, then uh, that, uh, that, that authors or creators will be deprived of, uh, of his uh, uh, rights, a lot of uh, people without involving their uh, labor intellectual contribution easily make copy of the uh, creation of the authors. So, then authors will be deprived of his rights, uh, the, uh, the pirated people, the pirater uh, or will uh, use the pirated copy uh, uh, instead of authors. So, authors will be deprived of his uh, uh, rights. So, then uh, they are uh, they thought about uh, to give some sorts of uh, incentive to the uh, author by means of exclusive right. So, uh, you can justify uh, incentive theory for uh, copyrights also. Similarly, industrial design has come up from the uh, corporate itself, just like the uh, useful articles, uh, aesthetic features is coming within the purview of uh, say industrial design. So, industrial design say the uh, creators who is giving a beautiful shape and configuration of the uh, an article, article used in an industrial uh, uh, industry is made in industrial process. So, why not to give some source of incentive, although you know that uh, life of the uh, art life of the uh, uh, say uh, uh, aesthetic features of an article is very short and uh, to get give some sorts of incentive they have decided that uh, say uh, the period of production uh, is uh, lower compared to the corporate production. Although you may think that uh, people are giving corporate production for literary work life plus 60 year, people may ask the question why so long, why what is the justification to give production for life plus 60 beyond life. Okay. Those are the uh, say uh, uh, topics of research uh, uh, with reference to uh, in, uh, intellectual property specifically for copyrights, so why rights beyond the life of the authors. Uh, so, that was uh, because uh, they are really if you consider uh, copyright where the intellectual contribution authors has involved. Okay. So, now industrial design where industrial flavors involved uh, means let us say where uh, you are creating a beautiful look of an article. Okay. So, they are uh, say why it, when say somebody have let us say I refer that way Kutub Minar is available, somebody has designed a Kutub Minar shape uh, pen or Kutub Minar shape table lamp, why not to give some sorts of incentive to them, uh, to them uh, to give uh, create a beautiful article uh, for the people, uh, the why aesthetic features of an article somebody created getting uh, giving some value to that article, why not to give some sorts of incentive may be also lower uh, time frame compared to the copyright, copyright is life plus 60 year, industrial design life cycle is very less. And so, they have thought about giving some sort of exclusive right for uh, 10 years. Okay. So, incentive theory, reward theory you can apply for industrial designs also and then trademark, okay. um, but trademark per se although there is uh, much uh, no, uh, there is not much in uh, say. Uh, creativity involved, but creativity involved in trademark by virtue of uh, label, logo uh, and I will discuss all those things when I discuss the trademark aspects, but if you create a beautiful logo that can be used as a trademark. So, why not to give some sorts of incentive to the person who has designing that beautiful logo and using that thing for its product to for my people to uh, differentiate that product uh, uh, from the others. Again another th postulate. Uh, we can make it, let us say somebody has 
selling the product with a particular name or logo or label uh, and uh, if that label and logo uh, somebody uh, uh, may, uh, somebody infringing or passing it off why that trademark owners uh, will be uh, attracted uh, interested uh, to use that logo or label and ultimately that uh, that uh, that lead to the uh, 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 people will deprived uh, of getting a, a genuine product uh, from that genuine trademark owners uh. so trademark owners that uh, particular how he will put the product in the market is uh, by means of mark label and logo if he is not getting some sorts of protection for that then he will not be further interested uh, to ultimately uh, uh, put your article with a particular name or logo and label. So, here also you can justify that incentive theory for trademark. Similarly, geographic negation, although not a private right, we may consider is a public uh, right or community right. So, uh, to give some sorts of incentive to the community um, of uh, so that uh, they can uh, get some benefit for the product place link and put a particular unique uh, uh, indication for their product in the market and how to give uh, protection for their indication. Uh, so, definitely here also I can justify incentive theory and reward theory. Reward uh, is coming up uh, along with the incentive. Uh, I am giving reward, reward is through that incentive. Uh, okay. Geographic indication also you can justify through incentive theory. Okay. Semiconductor, semiconductor IC layout design that uh, uh, IC layout you know that based on the layout you are creating the chips multiple uh, number of chips are coming up and you though if layout uh, uh, say somebody got the chips he can easily came up with the layout by uh, reverse engineering process. So, why not to give some sorts of uh, incentive to that uh, creator of that layout. Uh, so, based on that incentive and reward uh, theory for that uh, semiconductor IC layout uh, design uh, has also come up. Uh, so, if you consider that intellectual property creation of minds, here creation of minds involve, here also creation of minds involve, here also creation of minds also, here also partly creation of minds or here creation of minds in uh, uh, with reference to the indication, what type of indication they will uh, uh, create for their product. Uh, here also definitely pure in intellectual contribution through uh, that layout part is coming up. Okay. So, all are uh, considering the intellectual property, although Paris Convention treat them. Uh, uh, so, trips uh, uh, treat them as intellectual property, press concentrate treat them as industrial property, the, all the forms having some sorts of utility in industries. Okay. So, semiconductor IC layout also uh, say uh, why not to give incentive to the creator who is creating uh, say some uh, layout, um, otherwise you will not the create layout will not may not get the beautiful uh, or uh, chips having uh, different functionalities. Okay. Similarly, plan variety why not to give uh, somebody created a, a distinct uniform stable uh, varieties of the plant the breeders uh, will be uh, breeders will be attracted to create uh, more plant uh, prone varieties of plant to get a better yield uh, of the product will may get it uh, that may ultimately uh, say uh, fulfill the need of uh, food may be uh, uh, that so plant variety uh, uh, that say uh, may uh, is uh, essential uh, so that uh, to give some sort of incentive to the breeders although we have to make a balance with the farmers part also. So, that way plant varieties as also came up uh, can justify through incentive theory. Trade secret uh, somehow uh, we will discuss later on India do not have any trade secret law. So, the protection uh, will so all come up in the form of intellectual pro uh, uh, intellectual property part or morally trade means uh, industrial property part, uh, but uh, somehow no uh, no uh, statutory protection mechanism available in India. On US also they have uniform trade secret act hmm, or it is protected by contract act or maybe from in Indian uh, some uh, penal provisions for theft of information having value, uh, but uh, trade secret also uh, uh, say uh, so we may consider the incentive uh, to that uh, the person who is keeping those information in secret and that way we can justify trade secret. Okay. So, now uh, let us try to apply uh, quickly uh, other theories uh, of intellectual property. Uh, uh, theory, uh, other theory of intellectual property economical theories uh, with reference to the other uh, all the forms of IP uh, quickly. So, similarly investment protection law theory we already told that okay, the sunk cost R and D cost is the investment for the uh, uh, inventors or uh, company. Okay. The company is also investing for the uh, intellectual persons who is the inventors. So, uh, investment protection theory. So, company definitely uh, uh, required 
uh, investment in the form of a capital, investment in the form of intellectual, uh, in, uh, so intellectual investment. So again, investment in the form of intellectual, investment in the form of capital. Uh, uh, so that uh, definitely, uh, say you have to then equal to protection. I already referred earlier also that U.S. sometimes they call it it is investment protection uh, theory. Okay, so uh, so investment protection theory is also you can apply for all those things. All those things uh, require some sorts of investment either in the form of a capital or in the form of a uh, form of a. Uh, say uh, intellectual. So, prospect theory, uh, see why prospect theory? That prospect theory because all uh, that uh, already referred in the economical part patent also uh, creates some prospect, although sometime you call if we not utilized uh, the utilize the uh, patent or the working of the patents, then what prospect it is providing. Sometime defensive ways also uh, is giving prospect because let us say uh, name and hold the if you are patented in India, other uh, multinational companies or actual people. Uh, actual, actual people may get uh, some sorts of return on investment or something, some sorts of benefit out of that. So, it is definitely creating some prospect for the society, prospect for the uh, inventors, prospect for the creators or authors. So, prospect uh, and so prospect theory can easily apply for patent copyrights, because patent is for product process uh, or copyright for literary or musical work, all having uh, prosper uh, creating prosperity in the society. And prosper, thus prosperity is giving uh, prosperity ultimately uh, uh, coming uh, prosperity is uh, some sorts of uh, uh, fruits also the creator or, uh, or inventors are enjoying for that. Then similarly, public dissemination theories uh, that uh, I already told that patent versus trade secret where that uh, if somebody is interested not to disclose his information, uh, then uh, people will be derived deprived of that information. How can you uh, state can uh, create a mechanism? That's uh, let's say economist. If you think of public dissemination, dissemination or without public dissemination, where that maximum benefit is coming up for the uh, greater number of people. If not dissemination, that uh, uh, the benefit is uh, restricting to the maybe few number of people, uh, maybe. Uh, or if dissemination, its benefit may uh, reach to the large number of people. So public dissemination uh, should be attracted uh, by means of some incentive. That is coming through exclusive rights. So, public dissemination is also uh, ap can apply because all the things you are considering that uh, that uh, the particular registries uh, they will uh, may publish it in their official website after particular duration of time. So, that way the dissemination of the information related to all the forms of IP you may get it from their respective uh, uh, registries or their uh, website. So, dissemination helps the other people to know about those information and do their R and D that way uh, maybe a duplication of research will be prevented. Uh, otherwise, if no public dissemination, duplication of research will be happening, duplication of creation will be happening. Uh, so, that will then maximum social welfare that although there is a debate regarding that, that whether uh, the uh, minimum uh, uh, so some sorts of exclusive right uh, creating maximum social welfare or more on a monopolistic attitude. So, that part uh, uh, although debated, but we can uh, presume that. Uh, it is also uh, creating uh, maximum social affairs uh, uh, for uh, greater goal of the society, greater goal of the country for uh, social and economical development, because intellectual property having the impact on so, uh, economy and, and social economy uh, specifically. So, uh, then uh, reduction of search cost is not applicable only for it can apply for trademark specifically that reduction of search cost trademark uh, is uh, the trademark owner is putting a beautiful uh, uh, name, logo or label for his product and by virtue of that people uh, uh, will able to differentiate uh, one owner's product to the other's owners by virtue of that. Uh, the search cost for a particular product will they are decreased and people will uh, the owners will be more if some incentive is provided to the owner, owner will be more uh, at uh, more interested to protect uh, his uh, uh, protect or his rights. Hmm by putting uh, the show that he will not be uh, so will not be uh, say uh, say she will not be uh, say somebody uh, somebody should not be allowed to infringe his uh, trademark or pass off his trademark uh, so that uh, part uh, ultimately people will get a genuine product so reduction of search cost is only applicable for uh, trademark theory reduction of search cost that theory only applicable for trademark may not be for others so okay so now summarize so, okay, how can you justify the economical theory with reference to different forms of IP? Okay, just like a patent, incentive reward, investment, prospect, 
pollute disseminatedation maximum soil welfare yes copyright incentive reward investment prospect public uh, disseminatedation maybe social welfare yes trademark reduction of search cost primary incentive reward yes investment yes because he is uh, is creating beautiful logo okay so geographic indication may be for the society semiconductor ic layout also for the authors plant variety also for the breeders okay so that uh, way uh, you are getting justification for the economical theories uh, for each forms of ip similarly philosophical justification just like say utility theory labor theory you can easily apply because patent information having utility copyright yes although uh, that there is a corporate uh, so creation industrial design yes trademark yeah it is industrial property geographical indications we may consider it industrial property although it is a public right or community right semiconductor uh, ic layout yes it has a utility plant variety yes trade secret yes then labor so all the formation uh, information generation labor involved so labor theory you can justify then moral desert theory or uh, say uh, moral desert theory you can apply for copyright okay so definitely you just uh, try to um, uh, linking uh, different theory along with the forms so first we have discussed about the uh, basics of the intellectual property then we discussed about the uh, law introduction introduction then we discussed about the uh, different forms um, uh, different theories then we discussed about the different forms now we are trying to link the forms along with the theory uh, because you are technologist technology means application of science so now how can we applying the uh, theory of ip with the forms by virtue of that uh, you will get an holistic idea or you can get an uh, because a an holistic idea of the intellectual property hmm. and uh, how can you uh, till uh, can, can do further research to uh, develop uh, new theories new economical theory new econometric analysis for uh, the time frame of uh, protection of our intellectual property rights okay let's uh, end this module with these uh, notes okay thank you